Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron Kowalski, CEO of JDRF. Since its earliest days, our vision has been a world without type 1 diabetes. Your leadership has been critical to driving advances in T1D research and therapy development, improving lives today and tomorrow, and propelling multiple potential cures into clinical trials. We are making clear, tangible steps forward. Each generation of advances builds on the next, we have ambitious goals to accelerate our progress. How will we do that? By engaging more people and becoming more volunteer powered than ever before, creating a more active, diverse, and global constituency, and making our programs more inclusive of the full spectrum of people whose lives are improved by our mission. Your leadership and partnership will be critical because it brings us together in so many ways philanthropy, fundraising, partnering, and advocating with amazing results. T1D doesn't stop, so neither do we. Right now is a renaissance time for science. We are seeing unprecedented leaps in immunology, beta cell biology, and many other areas. Recently, we saw two such advances in cell therapies. Potential stem cell replacement therapies for type 1, each supported by JDRF in numerous ways for over 20 years. JDRF was an early pioneer in the field of stem cell research. We funded and advocated for the use of stem cells to cure diseases and strongly advocated on Capitol Hill for years to ensure research could proceed. We funded research grants in the United States and around the globe to advance the science focused on the process of transforming stem cells into insulin producing beta cells. Through the JDRF T1D Fund, we provided investments that enabled the movement of ideas from academia into commercial research and development. We're thrilled that Vertex, a powerhouse biotech company, has been advancing work long supported by JDRF. Recently, they announced that the first person to receive its stem cell replacement therapy for T1D during a clinical trial needs 91% less insulin. That's 90 days after receiving just half of the target dose of these cells. This amazing result was reported publicly by Vertex and JDRF. The New York Times covered it, as did ABC's Good Morning America. It's a huge deal. JDRF's involvement extends back to the year 2000. We awarded Dr. Doug Melton a grant to make insulin producing beta cells from stem cells, which he reported out in 2014. Since that breakthrough, Dr. Melton founded Sema Therapeutics to develop these cells into curative therapies for T1D. The JDRF T1D Fund made a catalytic investment in Sema in 2017, and Vertex acquired Sema for almost a billion dollars in 2019. Viasite and CRISPR Therapeutics have started a clinical trial in Canada of their gene-edited stem cell replacement therapy for T1D. This is the first of its kind for type 1 diabetes, and it holds great promise for the development of cell replacement therapies that will not require immunosuppression. JDRF involvement goes back to the early 2000s. Starting in 2001, we supported the work of Dr. Tim Kiefer, who also successfully created beta cells from stem cells in 2014. In 2021, Dr. Kiefer became the chief scientific officer at Viasite. We've supported Viasite since 2004 through research funding and advocacy. This funding underwrote the development of the line of stem cells used in Viasite's treatment. We also funded preclinical and clinical studies of Viasite's therapies. Our progress isn't limited to the area of research. It also includes our advocacy for affordability, coverage and choice of T1D therapies and technologies such as more affordable insulin. To help combat a nationwide insulin affordability crisis, JDRF recently announced our support of Civica, a nonprofit producer of pharmaceuticals. This is in conjunction with our leading partners in diabetes, advocacy, and healthcare. This project will manufacture and distribute low-cost biosimilar insulin options for three of the most prescribed insulins on the market. 
It's anticipated that in 2024, anyone living with diabetes in the United States will be able to purchase these insulins at no more than $30 a vial or $55 for a box of five pens, regardless of your insurance status. Right now, insulin can cost between $175 and $300 a vial and upwards of $1,000 for a month's supplies. These inflated costs are causing one quarter of people with diabetes to skip or ration their insulin, potentially leading to medical emergencies, severe complications, and even death. Once brought to the market, these biosimilars will save lives by significantly lowering the cost of insulin for millions of Americans. These developments are just three examples of amazing progress. There are many more. Through the JDRF Cell Replacement Consortium, we support more than 30 groups working on cell therapies. For disease-modifying therapies and screening and prevention, the other part of our cure strategy, we support over 50 groups, including eight industry partnerships. We see amazing progress on devices and drugs helping people with T1D live healthier and easier lives until we have cures. We have our interoperable sensors and smaller devices. Four artificial pancreas systems are now approved for use in the United States. Each one began as JDRF funded research. The T1D Fund has invested in at least 29 companies working on novel T1D therapies, cures, and improving lives. We need these advancements to make it to the T1D community, and our advocacy and policy work brings this progress home. We have multiple shots on goal. It's not a matter of if, but when. This progress happened because of you, our leading supporters. You work tirelessly with each other, JDRF staff, and other JDRF partners, including healthcare regulators and providers, to ensure progress reaches people with type 1 diabetes so that it's accessible, affordable, and leads to better outcomes. Together, we will work in different ways across the entire T1D research and therapy development pipeline and know the importance of bringing people together here in the US and around the globe to collaborate, inspire, and accelerate our work. Now is the time to keep pushing. JDRF won't stop until every person with T1D around the world has access, affordability, and choice of life-changing therapies, including more affordably priced insulins, closed loop artificial pancreas systems, therapies that can help prevent and treat T1D complications, and ultimately, we reach our goal of preventing and curing T1D. Thank you for stepping up, leaning in, and doing all that you can to continuously advance our critical work. <laughs>